as you can clearly see, Jake here wants to demonstrate the fact that it is indeed everyday bro. He really wants to make sure that you have a full grip on the concept of <coughs> dabbing on them haters. Les Miserables one. Ding. Hello there. My name's Professor Brian Vlogs, and welcome to Wonders of the Universe. Today we are going to be discussing the most recent epidemic to strike our YouTube community, known colloquially as the YouTuber Distrack. Now before I go ahead and jump into this episode, I'd like to remind you to hit that big subscribe button down below so you can stay informed of all of the different content that happens here on the Les Miserables One channel. Moving back onto our content, I must disclose that we are not going to cover the entirety, like the whole history of YouTuber diss tracks today. We are actually just going to talk about the most recent incarnation. And that begins with someone whose name you may well recognise if you haven't been living under a rock for the last few months. That is of course a man who goes by the name of Jake Paul. Now Jake decided he wasn't just content with being a social media influencer, actor and also entrepreneur. He also wanted to be a musician. Fair play to him. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. As you can clearly see, Jake here wants to demonstrate the fact that it is indeed every day, bro. He really wants to make sure that you have a full grip on the concept of <coughs> dabbing on them haters. Many YouTubers were outraged by this video and its virality and all of the millions of views that it got. They decided to create their own videos reacting to it and talking about it using his name in the title along the lines of Jake Paul smells funny, Jake Paul is a very naughty man, etc, etc. These videos reacting to the song became incredibly popular in their own right, creating what has come to be known in the scientific community as the Jake Paul effect. This prompted Jake's brother Logan, who is also a very successful content creator in his own right, to write the line Name in your title and you can pay this month's rent. Now, this is a reference to the fact that YouTubers earn monetary recompense for the videos that they make. This is a very scalable thing in that the more views they get, the more money they get. So taking into account the aforementioned Jake Paul effect, Using his name in a video to get more views would therefore get you more money, ultimately paying this month's rent. Now, coming back over to Logan Paul, we have an equally interesting character who is very successful in his own right and who plays off the back of his brother, driving views back and forth. <laughs> in what popular YouTuber Matt Pat of the Game Theory refers to as a watch loop. Let's head on over to the sketchpad to explore this concept further. This is Jake Paul. Jake Paul likes to dab. Jake Paul makes a song called It's Every Day, Bro. Logan then reacts to that song and Jake responds with a diss track to that reaction, which then Logan reacts to, then does a song about and then Jake apologises to which Logan does another song and then they do a collaborative song or, or, some, or something, I don't even know anymore, I'm losing track at this point. Pretty soon, other YouTubers and groups of them began to catch on to what was going on here, the science of the algorithm behind it all, and they decided that they wanted some of those views and some of that YouTube ad money for themselves. Enter KSI and the Sidemen. Yeah. The side men. Now, if you watch the initial video that sparked all of this competition, camaraderie, or diss tracking, you can see right from the beginning that it was very clearly falsified. It was just an attempt to get views, which worked insanely well. All of the different responses, reactions, diss tracks, etc, etc, spread across the entire network of channels, raked in millions upon millions 
of views, which brought in even more AdSense money for the collective who all lived together and worked together, and it essentially just spread around themselves, creating competition amongst the fan base and sparking discussion as to whose diss tracks were the most fire. This in turn led to even more YouTubers wanting a slice of the action. From Rice Gum, to Casper Lee, to PewDiePie, to Will Any. All of them were jumping in on the trend, probably even more that I haven't listed here, but everyone wanted some of those views. Some of them even going so far as to title their videos, Can I have some views please? Because that's essentially what it is. And in fact, on an even more meta level, that drove me to create this episode of Wonders of the Universe because I too am looking for views and want to become famous like Jake Paul or PewDiePie. So you know, if you want to <coughs> hit that subscribe button and join the family, that would be much appreciated. Hashtag always plug. If you'd also like to share this video with a friend so that they can become updated on the distract epidemic, please feel free to do so. And let me know down in the comments section below whose distract you thought was the most fire. For now though, I've been Professor Brian Vlogs. You've been watching Wonders of the Universe. Take care, subscribe, and have a blessed day. Subscribe to the channel and check out my last video.